Hello and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Memento Mori. This is map 16, Stoned, and you can see we've got 191 monsters and 11 secrets. So let's grab the super shotgun, grab some ammo, get started. Lots of zombie men here. Just try and line them up as best you can. Take them down. I will, we'll run out and start gunning them all. Let's grab the shells as we go. There we go. Okay, shotgun or chain gunners over there. Let's get them all aggroing each other. It's nice. There we go. Just show myself a little bit to get them going. Oops, walked into that one a bit. Just use the pillar here if you need it. And just watch the imps. Gonna try and crouch it. And again, line them up where you can. And just take them all out. Super shotgun makes quick work of them. Okay, so they're all down. We do have some imps up top here, so just watch your back. Okay, let's run around here. You can hear um, an arachnatron down here. Let's go and deal with them. There's two of them here. So let's go in here and start working our way around. Taking a little bit of damage. Not too bad. Oh, that's going to take a while. Let's grab the medikit here. See if I can find some more ammo. So we see the candles here. That's a little clue. We've got a mega armor and a switch. And the switch raises the platform overall to the goodies there. So let's run across here and grab those. Gonna see if I can get some bits and pieces. We've got a rocket launcher. There we go. Okay, so our arachnatron is finally down. Let's go back up top again. Actually, we've got some rockets here. Let's just run out and grab those. There we go. Okay. So, we've got this secret here with the candles. There's also candles here. Just watch in case there's... Yeah, there we go. Any imps up top. Lower this, and let's go up after them. Okay. Let's pick up all the bits and pieces. You can see over here we've got a bit of a mess in this little area. We need to deal with it. So, you can get a little bit of infighting going. can be useful here. This switch here lowers the pedestal with the Megasphere. It's obviously not a secret, but um, only do it when you need to. Hoping to get a little bit of infighting there. Not looking very promising at the moment. Just watch those rockets. Plus the height differences aren't great. So if I draw everything up to this side, I'm going to drop in with the rocket launcher. Would really prefer not to have um, my invisibility or partial invisibility here. But let's drop in now. Drop in backwards, take a couple of shots. That one. They didn't wait long for me. Gonna go and grab my plasma here. Keep moving. Oh, why don't you hit the revenant for me? Okay, we've got a bit of peace once the revenants are out of the way. Let's gun them down. I'll finish off with a rocket. Okay, so everything's down. Let's go back and pick stuff up. Uh, flip the switch here, we can raise up top. And then we can flip the switch here to get the Megasphere. I didn't do that first time, because that's actually a nice little barrier to help you, you know, provide some cover. So you can flip that, there we go. And it goes down. I I'm not going to bother with it. I think we're pretty reasonable for the moment. I think there was some health up here, actually, so... I might just grab this. Where's the candles? There we go. Let's run up top and see if there's any health left. And I will just move into the next area. Okay, so yeah, let's leave the Megasphere behind. Flip the door here to open it. Get a Revenant in the middle. This room is a bit, I don't know, like a bit of an awkward one for me. Um, not a massive fan. Oh, I was trying to get the rocket to hit the uh, Pain Elemental. Oh, messed that one up. Lost Souls, oh wow. You can just hear as well, we've got uh, a spectre in, so just be careful with the spectres. Gonna go and get myself some more ammo. So the, the kind of, the mechanic in here is that when you walk into particular areas, it opens up other sectors that you might be able to access. And if you want your all kills, this is a bit tedious in places, so just be careful with it. So I've got, oh, there we go, looking for that spectre. So if I... Sorry, I'm absolutely blind here. Let's pick stuff up. Let's let's drop in here. We've got a couple of enemies in here to deal with. 
Ah, must have got them all. Okay, you can run in, get all the plasma, get health or whatever you need, and out, out again. Okay, so we want to go up some of these. We want to go up this pillar here. I can't remember how you do it, but you basically run across... Um, as you run across some of the opposed areas, it raises or lowers things. So there you go, this one lowers. So let's go up top. And we've got a secret in here with a chain gunner. So now we're back to some good ammo. Could do with a backpack, but we'll get one of those in a minute. And then there's another one of these over in this area over here, this one here. So let's look for the trigger for that one. I think, is it this one? No, it's not. Is it over here? Just <laughs> run around and see if you can find the one that opens that. There we go, it's that one. So strafe over as fast as I can and get into this corner. And when you get up here, there's some uh, textures you can walk through. So we've got our secret tag there. Uh, we might have a chain gunner over here, so just be careful. Yep. There we go. Okay. So this is back in here. So you can see where they are. I was my first playthrough. I was getting gunned down here all the time, and they're hidden there in a in a transparent or in a um, a texture that you can walk through and shoot through. Okay. So the the whole idea here though is that you lower all those things and. Each time something lowers, a monster comes out and you take them down. But two of them, the one over here and the one over there, have got secrets at the top of them, so you write them back up. And when you're finished with all that, flip this to get out, and you go up here. We've got a, a chain gunner and a shotgunner, so be ready to shoot them. Okay. Thought to be a bit closer, but there you go. Got some spectres and stuff here. Oops. Didn't see it. Okay, I think that's it. And we've got a couple of triggers here, so just be careful. One of these opens up as a lift. There you go. I like to just run past it. And take it down. But there's spectres and um, a hell knight. If you drop down, it's pretty messy because not a lot of space. So unless you go in kind of plasma heavy, it's difficult to take that space down. Come on. There's too many of them on the lift, so they can't get up. There we go. So we've got a hell knight. Which is nice. So let's take them down and we can drop in after that. So let's drop in now. So trying to bump here, but not a lot of space. Let's go in and grab stuff. Plenty of health and things, so I'm not too bothered. Flip this switch back up top. And as we continue running along this corridor, we're going to get a second trigger. We're going to get loads of nonsense in. So just, I try and get in fighting here. I think I got it. Yeah, I did. Okay, so let's encourage the Mancubus back on path. Oh, that's good, because the Hell Knight's firing behind. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Gotta be careful I don't take one in the face there. And there's a Baron here, so it's nice to get them in fighting. Okay. There we go, and then we take the Victor down. Just don't get yourself caught up in the crossfire. Okay, and now that that's over, go back and one of these areas opens and we get our backpack. So that's really, really nice to get an early backpack. So we're up to four secrets already, which is sweet. And I'm gonna go in this door next. Um, this room's a bit messy. Flip that switch to get some more light. And then we're gonna run through and deal with the Hell Knights and Barons here. Just take down the zombie men as we go. And there's a Baron a little bit further in. So let's go and find them. They're hiding around here to scam us. A lot easier in this with the light. I didn't find that light switch until after my first time I played this through. Okay. Uh, I think that switch turns the light off again, so it's not particularly useful. And flip that one, and we can run back out again. Okay. In here, we can drop down here. Got some imps, so line them up. And we've also got a Hell Knight. You just saw our two Hell Knights. You just saw there as well, we uh, tagged a secret as we dropped in. So that's helpful. Okay, let's take it down. I'm gonna grab the health potions. Um, so the two switches here, do not touch this switch or you can't get all the secrets. So just flip this one to get back out again. Okay, um, may as well grab the soul sphere. Don't particularly need it. Okay, so we run up top. We're gonna go in here, but watch all the imps at your back. Lots of hit scan in here. So try and get stuff lined up. If this lift descends, there's going to be um, a chain gunner next time. There we go. And again, just watch out for imps at your back. They seem pretty quiet now for some reason. Okay. 
So we can actually ride this up. And there's another chain gunner here, so just be careful. And we've got another secret. Flip the switch in here, hop in the teleporter, get all the goodies in here. Which is great, particularly given we've got the backpack, we can really start stocking up and stuff. And then back out again, leaving loads of health behind. Flip the switch, drop down, and then we're going to move in here and go up top. When we go up top here, we're going to grab this and then descend, but there's no major trap here, so you can just descend into this area. We've got three um, imps, one over there and one behind each area, but they don't wake up, so it's pretty easy to manage. Okay, so you can see here, we've got a, a blue door, we don't have a blue key yet, and that uh, allows us to get this uh, red key next. So let's keep moving. We actually want the yellow key first, so let's keep going up top, run up here. We, we're going to get a spectre from each one of these pillars when it descends once you stand on the pressure plate, so just be careful. Line up, take the first one, take the second one, and then this is much easier. The first time I, I, I played this, I wasn't expecting it, I found that quite challenging. Going to run over here, we've got a, a double closet trap full of hit scan, so be ready for it. And I don't get them, like, they're sound asleep. I feel like my partial invisibility has confused them, but I'm sure there's some funny mechanic, like their bounding box is touching a wall or something. So flip that switch, and it raises a very, very slow platform up to that computer area map, so let's run back. Um, I like to run across here, so I'm going to wait for it to come up. So we've made good progress with our secrets. That's six of the 11 secrets. But um, we'll, once you get the computer area map, if you're having any difficulty with secrets, it gets a lot easier after that. So let's pick it up, run across, grab the rad suit, hop in here, deal with the pain elemental. Okay, so that's done. You can run back and grab some more goodies there if you want. I'm pretty good, so I'm gonna leave it. The yellow bars aren't down yet, so forget those. And let's drop into this space. We've got some hit scan at the bottom, so just take hit scan first, and then run around like a lunatic, killing all the rest of it. Okay, so I'm gonna throw on my rocket launcher and just get moving. Run past everything, see if we get some notional or nominal kind of infighting or whatever going. And once I'm past, I'm gonna run back and start clearing up. There we go. Let's take that out. Okay, so looking pretty good. Let's keep going. A bit wasteful with my rockets, I think, in that, but that's okay. We don't have a... It's not that challenging. Let's just take stuff out. So I'm overshooting my rockets just to err on the side of not taking damage. But health-wise and ammo-wise, we're pretty good. So let's go and start picking some stuff up. We're back to full shells. We've got little bits of plasma. Let's grab them and then hop in here. Lost souls here. Nothing too demanding. You can actually use the, the health to stop their charge. Let's go into the next one. Same here. There we go. Okay, take them out. And then we've got three cackles. Let's deal with the cackles. I think they often get blocked in the doorway. Oh, I think they um, often can't get past each other or get just caught up in the door. Okay, so we've got the yellow key. Flip that. We can get back out. You see the candles here? Another secret. Grab the rad suit. Hop into the teleporter. We're back where we were, but this time we've got the yellow key. And the bars that were blocking us before are now uh, removed. So the bars were here, so we can get in here now. I'm just going to run down this area first. I don't really get what this area is for, but we do have kills here, so I need to come down. i say I'm not, not too pushed about, um, you know, being careful about taking damage in this. And then run up top here. Walking up there, it gathers all the imps over to this side, so let's just take them out. Oops. Okay. So in here, we've got some mancubi, some barons, and lots of hit scan up top. So just be careful with this. You can run this lots of different ways, but um, I guess you can snipe down. Oh, our mancubus is helping me out there. That's nice. And got a bit of infighting there. It's nice. So let's run in and see what's happening. Okay. That's throw some rockets over there to sort out that. As I said, I'm not pushed about overusing my rockets here. 
there's plenty of ammo and plenty of health, so I just don't mind overdoing it. Okay, so this area is cleared. We can go up top, just flip the, the lift. Let's get on. And then we're going to run outside. We've got two arch files, so have your plasma hot and ready for this one. This is the way I like to run it. Run up. Wake everything up. Run back. And you're going to get two arch, fi arch files chasing you. Just mow them down here. You've got lots of space and time to deal with them here. And just when you need to get out of range. No point in taking any damage here. And you can see the chain gunners are out. So this area's got lots of chain gunners in it. So two arch files are down, that's all there are. So let's move around here a little bit more slowly. Oh, see here. There's one there. There's one here. We've got one behind the pillar over there. Okay, and then I'm going to run down here. Grab some of that. Okay, let's run over this side. Got one here. Got another one there in the middle, so just being a little bit careful. There we go. And then that's all them down. Just pick up the bits and pieces if you want. That's looking pretty good. There's also health lying around if you want it. And then we're going to hop into this little area over here, which is a teleporter back to the blue key. So we got the yellow key. That allowed us to get the blue key. And now we're going to go back up top, but we're going to go over that side next. And you can see the candles on top over there are a little indicator that something's going on. It's also a switch on the wall, I guess, so it's not that hidden. But it is a secret. So grab all the stuff here, and then hop back in our lift again. And we get back on the lift. We're up top here, but we're pointing this direction, so it's telling us the way to go. So let's run down here. Okay, and because we've got the blue key, we can go to the blue door. Watch for the imp here. That imp often scams me. Just forget about it. Flip that, and now we can get the red key. Got a chain gunner. Take him out. And now we can hop in the uh, teleporter. And the teleporter takes us back here, pointing out this way. So we're in here already. This is an area you've been through. But this time, um, we're going to move over here. We've got the red key, so we can move into this area. So I'm just going to backtrack really quickly, just to, to show you something I mentioned earlier. Okay, so I mentioned do not hit this second switch. The reason for that... Let's get the right switch. The reason for that is that if you flip that switch, the intent with it is that it brings the stairs in this next section. So let me just show you where that stairs comes. So we just need to plow through the caco here, and then you'll see it. Okay, so it's supposed to raise this stairs, and it does raise this stairs. So it, it makes the stairs here. Um, but when it raises that stairs, it blocks a secret line def here that's tagged. So if I walk here, I can trigger that secret. If I hit that switch, it raises the stairs so I can backtrack here. But then um, I can't get that secret. So if you want all secrets, don't hit that switch. And then there's a wall here. I can walk in here and I can pick up some stuff. Okay. So that's our, um, another secret there. We've got a couple of Arachnitron here. Let's get them moving. And don't have much in the way of rockets. It's fine. Let's take stuff down. I'm going to use my plasma, I guess. Got plenty of plasma. And then there's another Arachnitron over here. Let's take them out. We can be pretty gutsy and get up against them. Open the door on the other side. We've got pinkies. Let's take the pinkies out. And one on the stairs. And then get in here and deal with the imps. Don't pick up the blue armor because it's a big trap. So I'm going to just stay in well away from there to clear the rest. And when they're ready, run back out. You get a closet of chain gunners there. So let's just get out of that. Let them... Oh, normally they're shooting each other up. But they managed to avoid it this time. And I'm just going to hang out here at the edge and take down as much as I can. Plenty of health and stuff again, so not too worried. Okay. And we got some secrets there. That's all of our secrets now. Okay. So now we can hop in here for this last section. We've got a barren fight. And this is a bit... You know, plenty going on. I like to just run it with the plasma and see how it goes. Focus on the barons that are up front first. So all the ones in the middle, I just focus them. I just keep, move, oops, keep moving around. That's two down. Gonna move into the central ones here next. Again, just keeping myself moving. Taking a, taking a couple of hits, but nothing too heavy yet. Wow, oh, I got clawed. I got too close to that pillar and I got clawed. Let me grab the Megasphere so I don't die stupidly at the end. 
My movement doesn't seem as good as this this time as in my practice runs, where I managed to do this without taking damage. And then just take down the last ones. Plasma is just the most efficient DPS weapon for dealing with stuff like this. Oop, walk into that one. Okay, getting there. Two left. Come on, I think you're the last one. Oh, standing still for that one. Okay, that's everything down, and that's all kills and secrets. Um, just before I hop in the exit, though, I just want to show you some stuff. If you interact here, it's not a secret, but you get a teleporter. That takes you back to um, where we dealt with these chain gunners. And then if you go outside, just to show you this, because the stairs isn't here for backtracking, but you can use this um, teleporter to backtrack up top again. So you can get back to the rest of the map if you want to, having not used that switch to uh, lower the stairs. So it's still all very accessible, but let's finish up. Okay, just going to run down to the end. Um, found this quite a fun level, but you know, took a bit of time to find some of the secrets in it. I think on my first playthrough I found 10 of the secrets, and then the last one took me a long time to find. But um, generally enjoyed it. As I say, like it's one of those levels I don't play too carefully because there's lots of health, there's lots of ammo. I'm not even picking up all the stuff that I can pick up along the way. So, um, you know, really enjoyed it. Really fast run through. Um, do be careful, though, if you want all the secrets that you don't flip that switch that I've indicated. But uh, apart from that, it you know, the routing took me a bit of time to get on top of. But then once I got on top of it, I realized that you know, each time you teleport to somewhere, if you just go forward the direction that you're pointing in, it's generally right. And that was a good kind of uh, way of kind of completing the map. So I've enjoyed this one. Hope you guys have too. And I'll see you in the next one.